Hello? Hello, IK. I'm not hearing you. Your voice is cracking. No. What do you mean by I'm not hearing you? It is wrong. And what do you even mean by your voice is cracking? It is incorrect. You simply say, I can't hear you. The line is breaking. Network is fluctuating. You say, hey, please, if you get to Akure, make sure you flash me. What do you mean by flash me? Let me tell you something. That statement is not even close to what should be considered as sense. You say, um, I, I saw your missed call. No, I missed your call. I was talking to a lady. I was I was asking her, where are you going? And she said, Lucky, please wait for me. I'm coming. No, yet. She was leaving. It's wrong. You simply say, I'll be back. Please wait for me. I'll be back soon. I was talking to a lady and I told her, I like the way you sing. Your voice is impressive. And she said, ah, thank you. Actually, I'm a choir in the church. Wow. <laughs> it was beyond my understanding. Telling me that she's a choir. How can you be a choir? That is a collective noun. A choir is a group of choristers. A group of singers. You simply say, I'm a chorister. A bro was saying, do you know who you are talking to? Lucky, are you, are, you, are you okay? Do you know my dad is an army? She said, bros, calm down. No. Well, an, an army, army is a group of soldiers. That is a collective noun. Your daddy cannot be an army. You simply say, my dad is a soldier. My dad is an army officer. You see, the wrong expression of English language it has implicated a lot of people at the law court. Should somebody speak a language that does not seem familiar to you, you don't tell the person, I'm not hearing you. Obviously, you are not deaf. You say, ah, I'm not hearing you, Roban. No, no. You simply say, I don't understand your language. I am sorry, madam. I don't understand the robo. At the law court, a lady was in ah, me. I don't even know what happened, though. I slept at 10 p.m. yesterday. At the law court, they said, lady, please, calm down. Calm down. You said you slept at 10 p.m., right? She said, yes. Is it okay then tell us how were you able to tell the exact time you slept? Please explain. It is incorrect. Do you know why? It is because sleeping comes in an unconscious state. It is impossible to tell the exact time you slept. You simply say I went to bed at about 10 p.m. last night. You say headache is doing me. How can headache do you? No, let's think about it. My eyes scratching me. My legs are paining me. No, I feel pains in my legs. You say workers are wanted. Are they criminals? Workers are urgently needed. Yeah. You sound to buy 15 euro own. What do you mean by 15 euro own? There's nothing like 15 euro own. I want to buy 15 euro worth of plantain chips. Please give me 15 euro worth of sachet water. You say give me my change. <laughs> what do you mean by change? You say, I need my balance. Please give me my balance. You say driver, do now. Let's go. What is do? Driver, please, just stand up, hurry up. I'm late. He said, I entered the bus from Akure to Eliza the University. No, I boarded the bus. He said, Driver, I want to stop here. Who is holding you? I want to alight, please. He said, I'm the last born of my family. No, I'm the last oh, child wow. of my parents. Most of you say, I'm looking for a job. That statement is ungrammatical. Oh, very common. He said, Yes, yeah, very common to thank you, bro. You say, I'm searching for a job. I'm seeking employment. You say, my mommy gave birth to twins. Hey, twins. Ah, I introduced to you a very interesting topic, tautology. A needless repetition of the same sense in different words and phrases. You say, ah, the food was not sufficient enough for Israel and I. It's wrong. That is tautology. Sufficient enough. Those two words, sufficient enough. They are in the same sense. They interpret the same meaning. You simply say the food was not enough or the food was not sufficient. You say, I want to thank each and every one of you. It is incorrect. I want to thank each of you or I want to thank every one of you. You say, please move to the extreme end. Please move to the extreme or move to the end. To be frank and sincere, I did not call him on phone. No, how do you say I'm cheating on you? Hey, God. Your matter is Shiloh. To be frank and sincere. No, to be frank, baby, to be honest, to be sincere, I didn't... You see, these are the common errors you and I make in English language. A lot of people have been intimidated by getting their grammar wrong. They have been embarrassed, irrespective of their certificate. They have been let down. Unknown to them, it has led to lots of great opportunities. You see employment disappointment, you see relationship disappointment, scholarship disappointment. So I'm even having difficulties in their personal relationship. You see, I have a book to show you. With the assistance of this book, you'll be able to learn the skills that allow you to speak good English 
accurately and confidently to whatever level you desire. You'll be able to speak good English eloquently in public, be able to articulate good English effectively without emphasis. Sometimes there's tautology with our use of acronyms that causes words to be said. Most especially students in higher institution will say, Please report to the HOD of your department. This statement is ungrammatical. It's common even with our lecturers. Yes, I'll say this. This is true too. It's common even with our lecturers. Some people say, please go and report to the HOD of your department. What is the name of HOD? It means head of department. So why is he saying report to the HOD of your department? It is redundant. That is an explicit abbreviation in English language. That is a grammatical blunder, a grammatical booboo, a grammatical gaff, a grammatical tinkle. <laughs> he says she's a victim of HIV virus. Why even of HIV? It means human, it means virus. So why is he saying human virus? He say SSCE certificate. SSCE means senior secondary certificate. So why is he saying certificate? He say PIN number, ISBN number. It is wrong. He say, that is my junior brother, so he don't know. Hey, I pity you. What my junior brother? It is incorrect. You see my younger brother, you don't see my senior sister, you see my elder sister. See, if you make use of this book effectively, you will understand that those words, the junior and the senior, they are supposed to be used at the school or at the office. For official use only. You see, Oluchi has an open teeth. Oluchi's teeth cannot be open all the time. Oluchi has a gap teeth, Oluchi has a space teeth. Most of you see somebody, you address the person as a copper. What do you mean by copper? See, should somebody tell you it's copper, do not believe them. Tell them it's wrong. It is not pronounced the way it is spelled. It is spelled as C-O-R-P-S. The P-S is silent. In phonetics, it is K-O-R, call. Is I'm a call member, I'm in the youth service. Please take note. Is I want to toast Amanda. Ah, she's beautiful. Ah, man. See who they may. Ah, see Fatima. See. No, ah. what do you mean by toast? She's not a bread. I'm sorry, you can't toast her. Is I want to woo her. To woo means to gain the love of somebody, but if you see someone you admire, you can say, she's a toast. Wow, she's a toast. If you make use of dictionary to explain better. Somebody was asking me, say, Lucky, I hope this your business is moving. I'm sorry. My business cannot move. That's a grammatical boo-boo. A grammatical blooper. A grammatical tinkle. My business cannot move. You simply say, I hope your business is booming. It means that period of rapid economic growth. Or well, I hope your business is flourishing. It means for something to go vigorously. You see, I'm going to the salon to cut my hair. No! Do you really intend to cut your hair yourself? You simply say, I'm going to the salon to have my hair cut. My little big errors in English language. Please, are you a student? Are you seeking employment? You don't say, I'm looking for a job. You say, I'm seeking employment. Are you a motivational speaker, an MC, a comedian, a musician, a pastor? Whatever field you find yourself, think about it. Why not build up your prestige? You see, this book is going to dramatically increase your English ability. It is going to build up your vocabulary. It's going to develop you on how to write good letters. It is going to make you fluent in one of the most amazing spoken languages in English language. See, if you are listening to me, you may pretend not to understand what I'm talking about. I'll start by telling you congratulations. You do have a choice to pretend. You really do have a choice. The attitude is yours. How old is this your attitude? See, the world has progressed in age and population. I always tell people something. If the government cannot prepare the country for our children, we have to prepare the children for our country. Educate your children. The Bible said it better. Train up your child in the way they should grow and if they get old, you know the rest. You see, our daddy, daddy, Nepa has cut our light. Nepa cannot cut your light. Educate them, see, junior. Nepa disconnected the light. I bet you don't learn from you. You see, our mommy, there's never single water at home. Do you know the word water is unaccountable now? Why is it there's no single water? You simply say there's no water at home. You say Nepa has taken the lights. No, Nepa has interrupted the power supply. You don't say Nepa has brought the lights. Nepa has restored the power supply. Educate your children. The world is a wise man once told me. We don't inherit the earth from our parents. We borrow it from our children. You see, there's something I always tell people. The perfume it does not taste like the way it smells. Pretend as if you don't understand what I'm talking about. You see, this book, My Little Big Error in English Language, I'm actually the author of this book. And I want you to grab a copy. I recommend this book to every student out there. 
so please do not be left out the world has progressed in age and population you see the worst threat on earth is the belief that somebody else will help you have children at home you have people around why not grab a copy and make use of it some people say i want to glance i want to go through your book i'm sorry you can't go through this book you simply say i want to glance through the book you don't say open to page four it is incorrect you say turn to page four flip to page four I don't want to waste your time. So the book is out there. It's boy lucky you do a kid that day or two, but I'm chilling with Israelites, Elizabeth University, Lara Monkey. Thank you for watching.